Prophet Sallallahu said, O people, beware of this polytheism, of this idolatry. It is more hidden than the crawling of an ant. How much can you detect the crawling of an ant? Prophet Sallallahu said, this type of shirk, this type of idolatry, the idol, the idol of the self, is more hidden, less detectable than the crawling of an ant. So someone responded and they said, وَكَيْفَ نَتَّقِيهِ وَهُوَ أَخْفَى مِنْ دَبِيبِ النَّمْلِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ So how are we supposed to avoid it if we can't detect it, if it's less than the crawling of an ant? The Prophet ﷺ said, قُولُوا اللَّهُمَّ إِنَّا نَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ أَنْ نُشْلِكَ بِكَ شَيْئًا نَعْلَمُ وَنَسْتَغْفِرُكَ لِمَا لَا نَعْلَمُ The Prophet ﷺ said, Say, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you that we associate partners with you knowingly and we seek forgiveness for you for what we do unknowingly. How powerful is this supplication? Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he heard the Prophet sallallahu refer to that type of, of insincerity and the pulling away of sincerity as being less detectable than the crawling of an ant, he said, Ya Rasulullah, what do we do? How are we supposed to get rid of this? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he responded to Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu and he said, أَلَا أَدُلُّكَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ إِذَا قُلْتَهُ ذَهَبَ عَنْكَ قَلِيلُهُ وَكَثِيرُهُ Listen to the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, shall I not guide you to something? If you say these words, it will remove that shirk from you, remove that idolatry, the large of it and the small of it. The very obvious insincerity that you can actually feel and the parts that you're having a hard time detecting. And he said, say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lam. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lam. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lam. Memorize it, dear brothers and sisters, that, oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from that which I do knowingly and I seek forgiveness from you for that which I do and I don't even recognize it, I don't even know it. Five things that we learn from this, dear brothers and sisters. Number one, the power of dua, the power of supplication. Keep asking Allah to keep you sincere. Keep asking Allah to keep you sincere and keep seeking forgiveness from Him for that which takes away from your sincerity. Number two, make sure that when you perform an action, you have that initial sincerity for that action. Before you do what you're about to do, remind yourself that it's only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you want nothing out of your prayer, out of your charity, nothing out of the goodness that you do from the people of this world. You're doing it only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three, constantly renew your intentions. It's not just the initial intention, it's revisiting and making sure your intention was not stolen along the way. Number four, your private good deeds. Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah who said that I've never struggled with anything like I've struggled with intention. You know what he said? He said, anything I've done that has been seen by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I don't count it for my good deeds. I don't count it for my good deeds. What does he mean by that? He says, I instead store up my private good deeds and on the day of judgment, if those deeds that were seen by others are credited, then alhamdulillah, I mean, that's bonus but I'm gonna count on building my stash of good secrets. Some people have demons in the closet, others have deeds in the closet of goodness, your sincerity. I'm gonna store away the prayer, the charity, the goodness that no one else knows about, except for maybe the recipient of that goodness. And that's what will be between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number five, consistent performance. What I do in private, I do in public. What I do in public, I do in private. And there is no drop off of the motivation, no drop off of the performance of the prayer, no drop off of that goodness, just because someone else's eyes are there. The goal is not to remove other people's eyes. The goal is to remove the weight of those eyes to where they affect the performance or the sincerity of those deeds. So it doesn't matter if someone else is watching because the only sight you're concerned with is the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ikhlas in all that we do, full sincerity in all that we do, and accept all that we do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from attributing partners to Him knowingly, and may He forgive us when we do so unknowingly. Allahumma ameen. Aqulu khawliyada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa risa'al muslimin fa astaghfiru innahu al-ghafur rahim.